This is the new Rode Wireless Pro. Actually, this is the new Rode Wireless Pro. They just sent it to me for this video. They didn't pay me. This is not a sponsored, well, it is a sponsored video, but Rode's not the sponsor. We'll get to that in a minute. What I really like about these is how well they stay in the case and how they're so durable. They're very, very durable. I know because I've dropped these things like 20 times already. So they're in there really good. And I've found that one of the most irritating things is trying to get these things out without dropping them. Because first off, on this side, when you're grabbing them to try and take them out, there's a button there and I do not want to grab that button. So I try and grab it from this side, but it's really, really slippery and smooth. So by the time I'm able to get it out, usually I drop it. The case also doubles as its charging case. Each one of these things will last for seven hours. I'm getting pretty good at that. I mean, it only takes a little bit of practice. Anyways, this case will charge everything twice before you have to recharge the case itself. And instead of having to use one of the weird USB micro cables, like all my other wireless microphones, like even the Sennheiser AVX system that I have, this uses USB-C and you just plug everything into the case and then you charge it all with USB-C, which is awesome. So I'm really glad that you can charge everything at the same time. And there's also one more really, really annoying thing about this system, but we'll get to that in a minute. First, I wanna give you a sound quality comparison between just the transmitter itself, there we go, and the included microphones that it comes with. It comes with two lav mics that you can plug into the transmitters. I've already got one rigged up to my shirt here. And so we're gonna plug one into this guy here now we're gonna clip the second transmitter just onto my shirt next to the lav mic so we can compare those. There we go, we got one here and one here. And I'm gonna take the receiver. I really like that this little clip duels as the cold shoe mount. You just take the little clip and you slide it on there and you take the little included cables and you stick them on there. We're ready to do our sound test. And while I do the sound test, we're gonna talk about today's sponsor. If you were given a budget of $100,000, what would you create? Well, Artless just launched their biggest creators fund ever. It's $100,000. It's called the Artless 100K Fund. And they're gonna give it to just one lucky creator. All you have to do is post a video on your socials, tag artless.io and use the hashtag Artless 100K Fund. Submissions already started on September 12th and they will close on October 12th. It doesn't matter what kind of creator you are or what kind of content you wanna create or what your plan is for that money, as long as it has to do with creating. You can build a ridiculous YouTube studio and become a tech reviewer like me. Or maybe you wanna make a movie or your best friend is a producer and you wanna make a sweet music video with them. Whatever it is, just get your idea posted. If you want more information about this fund, there's a link to it in the description of this video. In addition to that, I wanna talk about a couple of changes that have recently happened to Artlist's platform that you should be aware of. As you know, most licensing platforms do require you to add your social channel to their platform so they can prevent your channel from getting copyright strikes. Well, I imagine Artlist was getting a lot of people just using their music without buying a license. So they did add the ability to add your channel to your Artlist account, and you should do that now. I noticed I was able to add up to three channels on my account. Go check out the new section to add your social channels or the videos that you're creating for other people on your Artlist account now. This only applies to videos created after September 6th, when that change took place. Now I'm using the Sennheiser MKE-2, but it works also with the Rode transmitter. I really do like that you can use whatever your favorite lav is with these little transmitters. And these things are baller, let me explain. So for the remainder of this video, I've got just the plain Rode Wireless Pro transmitter without an extra wireless lav, it's using the onboard lav. I'm not gonna go over every single little feature that these things have, because this video would be probably 40 minutes, it'd be really, really boring. I'm just gonna tell you about the most exciting things and probably the biggest frustration that I have with them. Other than of course, that they're really slippery and hard to get out of the case. It's not that big of a deal though. My biggest frustration with them is, although this works as both the charging cable and the data cable, so you can pull files off of the transmitters by just plugging them in to charge them and then plugging this into your laptop and you can just drag the files right off of them. You cannot delete files off of the transmitters without downloading the Rode Central app thing that they have you install in order to configure them. And to be clear, you can format these transmitters. You just have to do it with Rode software. 
I don't like to install extra additional third-party software to configure all of my devices because I've got a crap load of devices and it's just way too much stuff to remember. I just want to plug these things in, take the files off and go on with my day. You can do that, you just can't delete the files off of them once you're done. Now it's not that big of a deal because these will record up to 40 hours of audio. And once you get to the end of that 40 hours, it'll start overwriting the oldest audio that you've recorded. So it's not like you're gonna lose anything, but it's just gonna slow me down. I would love to be able to just delete crap off of these once I'm done with them. But now let's talk about some of the really cool stuff. These things have 32-bit floating point audio built into them on the transmitters. They don't transmit 32-bit floating point audio, they transmit 24-bit audio. So on the A7S III right now, if I talk way too loud into these transmitters, it's gonna clip that audio. But on the transmitters, if I'm recording, I can recover that audio because, well, let me give you an example. I'm just gonna talk really, really quiet. This is an actual whisper. I'm being extremely quiet right now. Or I can just scream as loud as I possibly can. I can get all that audio back from the transmitters because with 32-bit floating point audio, you can recover the loudest noises or the quietest noises. You just gotta just drag them a little bit. And the thing about the built-in little microphone on the transmitter itself is you don't actually have to start recording for it to transmit sound to the receiver. It turns on as soon as you take it out of the little charging case. And then as long as you've got the, tr the receiver plugged into your camera, you'll be recording audio onto the actual camera itself. Hitting that button to start record just starts recording that 32-bit audio onto the transmitter itself. And the audio quality on this thing is fantastic. I do think that the shiny little glossy transmitter looks kind of goofy, but it's pretty popular now. A lot of people are using it. You've probably seen it all over TikTok, if you're into that. It also comes with a cable so you can connect the receiver to your iPhone. And I like that both receivers go into the transmitter. So if you wanted to just get this little kit to do some quick interviews with people, you can do that. Now, if you've made it this far into the video, I appreciate you. And so what I'm doing is I'm just gonna give away this preset that I usually sell for $10. And that's how I make all my audio sound amazing. Kind of like what I showed you in that sponsored test message. You just have to download it. There's a link to it. You can find it, let's call it the Tommy Special. There's a link to it in the description of this video. Use it with Adobe Audition, and then it'll make your audio go from sounding like this to sounding like this. That's really all you need to know about these things. And I think they're really exciting. You can use these if you're an amateur, or you can configure these if you're a pro. You can make it so you have a safety track on the left channel, or you can make it so only the left channel goes for one transmitter and the right channel goes for the other transmitter. So you can even plug in three microphones. You can use the receiver as an additional microphone. You can plug a microphone into it and then use the USB-C out. These things are insanely configurable, and I'm not going to go over all the options. All I went over is the things that make this interesting to me. And if you want to pick up your own Rode Wireless Pro. There's a link to where you can get it in the description of this video. It's only $400. I had to spend thousands of dollars to get a decent rig to set up 32-bit floating point audio. But now you can get it for 400 bucks from Rode and you get two transmitters. You can also plug in other microphones like I've got the Rode Wireless Go 2 here. Now I've got a little wireless 32-bit floating point audio shotgun microphone set up and this sounds fantastic. So if you want to pick up the Rode Wireless Pro, there's a link to where you can get it in the description of this video. And again, if you've got an idea that's worth $100,000, send it over to Artlist. And again, thank you Artlist for sponsoring this video and thank you Rode for sending out the Wireless Pro. It's actually a fantastic tool that I will be integrating into my regular video workflow. Thanks for watching. If you're into this stuff, make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.